Hi everybody, um, here's another story for you. Um, it's one of my all time favourites by Ian Beck. It's called The Teddy Rubber. One night, when everyone was asleep, Tom was still awake, reading with his torch. He had nearly finished his book when a huge hand tried to steal his teddy. But Tom wouldn't let go. Hey, that's my teddy! Tom's teddy was pulled through the window and thrown into a sack. Tom tried to hold on, but he slipped down a massive arm, swung on a big giant key and slithered down a mighty leg. I wonder who's pinched Tom's teddy. The teddy robber was a giant. Off went the giant with great long strides while Tom clung on to a bootstrap. Imagine. They came to the giant's castle. Tom clambered up the steep steps after the giant. Higher and higher and higher until they came to a giant door. Through the door was a vast room. Tom climbed up the huge table leg and saw the giant with the sack of stolen teddies. The giant picked up the teddies one by one. He looked at each bear very carefully. Then the giant sighed a great sigh and shed a single salty tear. He picked up all the teddies and a big iron key. He took the key to a huge padlock and a huge cupboard. Inside were all the lost teddies in the world. Hmm, wonder how many are there. It's going to take some counting. The giant locked the cupboard, then he turned round and saw Tom. Who are you? he boomed. I'm Tom and you stole my teddy. Well I've lost my teddy, wailed the giant. That's why I'm the teddy robber. And he sat down on his bed and sobbed. Cheer up, said Tom. Blow your nose and I'll help you look for him. They looked under the bed. They looked in the fridge. They looked in the cupboards. They looked in the dirty clothes basket. They looked everywhere. We'll never find it, said the giant. And they sat down and had a mug of cocoa. Would you like a biscuit? asked the giant politely. Mm, the biscuits are on your pillow, said Tom. The giant looked surprised. They ought to be on the shelf. The pillow is where my teddy used to be. And he began to cry all over again. Biscuits are on your pillow, said Tom, then perhaps your teddy is on the shelf. My teddy! My teddy! You found him! How can I ever thank you? First you can give me back my teddy, and then you must put back all those stolen teddies. Straight away, said Tom. So together, Tom and the giant worked all through the night to put the lost teddies back into their beds. When they had finished, Tom went safely to bed with his teddy. And the giant cuddled up with his teddy and was soon fast asleep. That's one of my favourite stories. I've been reading that 
to children for a long, long time. I hope you liked it.